Hello, poverty fighters. You know that feeling when you spend hours recording a tutorial and then even more hours editing every little click and zoom? Yeah, it's painful. That's why I started using a new tool called Focusy. It basically does all that editing for you automatically. If you make product demos, tutorials, or software walkthroughs, this tool can save you a ton of time and still make your videos look professional. To explain further what it is, Focus C is an AI screen recorder for Windows and Mac that helps you create professional videos fast and easy by tracking your mouse highlighting clicks and zooming automatically so your tutorials or demos look clean without editing. And with its built-in editor, you can adjust zoom resize for YouTube or TikTok change background and style. Plus it offers AI tools like background removal, subtitles, noise reduction, and voice enhancement, which save time and make your videos ready to share on any platform. Once you install it on your computer, you just allow screen and camera permissions and you're ready to record. First, you can choose what to capture, your full screen, a specific window, or just part of your screen. You can even turn your webcam on or off and decide whether to include your mic or system audio. Then, after you record it, that's when the magic happens. Let's start from the beginning. Here, you can either keep the original size or change it based on the platform you're posting on. For me, I'll choose 16 by 9, which is the best format for long YouTube videos. Next is the zoom option. If you keep it enabled, when you add zoom effects, the screen recording will stay fixed while the background remains steady. But if you turn it off, the recording itself will zoom in and cover the background. Personally, I prefer keeping it on. If we scroll down a bit, we'll see some sliders. The first one is the padding slider. If you drag it to the right, it will shrink the size of the recording, and if you drag it to the left, it will enlarge it. Next is the inset slider. If you increase it, it adds a clear border around your recording, making it stand out more. You can also change the color of this border. Then comes the roundness slider. Increasing it will make the corners of your recording more rounded. I recommend keeping it around level two or three for a smooth look. And finally, the shadow slider adds depth to your recording. The higher you set it, the stronger the shadow effect becomes, giving your recording a nice 3D look. Next, choose your background. You'll find many styles, patterns, and solid colors to pick from. Take your time to find the one that fits your content best. Personally, I like using this blue to black gradient background. You've probably seen it in many of my previous videos. Or, if you already have your own design, you can simply upload it from the custom option. Now let's move to the next section, which is about the mouse. First, if you increase this bar, it will make the mouse cursor larger. Next, select the mouse style. You'll find a variety of styles, including Windows, Mac, and even more advanced options. Then, choose click effect. This feature adds a unique effect to every click. If you enable this option, each click will also produce a click sound effect, making your interactions more dynamic and engaging. Once we finish this section, let's add zoom to the timeline. On the left, you'll find a simple control panel. From this bar, you can increase or decrease the zoom level. You can also manually select the part of the video that will be zoomed in or out. The best part is that this zoom automatically follows the mouse, so you won't have to spend time setting keyframes manually. For advanced settings and to change the zoom style, go to the animation section. The three motion blur settings at the top control the visual smoothness of your movement. Higher numbers create a dreamier, softer blur during zoom and cursor action, while lower numbers keep it sharp. The movement type options, slow, medium, fast, rapid, let you choose the speed and feel of your cursor moves and screen zooms, essentially telling the action to be gentle and slow or quick and snappy. Finally, the custom settings for zoom and pan let you fine tune the physics of the movement. Tension is the stopping power, Friction controls the resistance or drag, and mass changes how heavily those two factors impact the zoom's overall flow. Just experiment with the settings until you get the result that looks best for your video. Then, in the audio section, things are very simple. You can adjust the volume, either increase, decrease, or mute it completely. Next, in the watermark section, you can upload and add your channel logo or brand mark. Finally, in the avatar section, you'll find a variety of ultra-realistic human characters that you can add to present the content for you. Now that we've finished with the left panel, let's move on to the timeline. 
This part is also very simple. First, we have the crop tool, which lets you trim or resize your recording. Next is the scissors tool, used to cut out unwanted parts or extra sections from your clip. After that comes the spotlight tool, perfect for highlighting a specific area of your recording. For example, I'll drag and resize it here to focus on this part of the video. Then, from this section, you can adjust the spotlight settings, such as the roundness, mask opacity. The higher the opacity, the sharper the spotlight. Finally, there's feathering, which creates a smooth gradient effect around the spotlight. All right, the last feature we'll look at is blur. It lets you hide any part of the screen you don't want to show, such as your personal information, just like I'm blurring this text right now. Honestly, this isn't a sponsored video. I just truly love this tool because it saved me a lot of time and money, and most importantly, it improved the quality of my content, so I decided to share it with you. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.